Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and all the people that make it, regardless of what they want to do with their life. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Chiba Hut to celebrate Pride and the amazing people that make up what we like to call around here the Alphabet Mafia. If you know, you know. We're strong allies around these parts, so I felt it only right to show up and support both the musician scene and the LGBTQ plus IA scene. Like the shirt? Now then, and without further ado, let's get this party started! Hosted by Scotty Dub, the show started with Kaya Faya, the 11-year-old daughter of the singer for one of the other acts on the bill. Rocking a ukulele that was shaped like an electric guitar, Kaya had the growing crowd in the palm of her hand as she crooned some cover songs with the confidence of performers three times her age. There's just something so cute about a preteen Hawaiian girl rocking a uke and spitting some gangster rap. Up next was friend of the channel, Quinn Turner. Quinn's music is all about positivity and coming together as one, so it fits perfectly with an event like this one. Weaving his tales with simple chords and flowing vocals, Quinn set the stage nicely for the next act, which was shaping up to kick things up a notch. That act was Mojo Reggae, and boy howdy did they crank things up. Soon to be Room 6 guests, their singer is the father of Kaifaya. She even got pulled on stage to sing one song with her dad. Aww. Blending island and reggae vibes, and rock and roll into something they call modern Hawaiian, they ratcheted up the energy and gave it back to the crowd. Host Scotty Dub invited his friends Snap Murphy and Charles King to grab the mic next and rap some freestyle while Scotty's band got set up. It was a nice change of pace and the audience welcomed it warmly. I'm excited to get these two guys on the channel soon. Speaking of Scotty Dub, he was next to hit the stage. I'd never heard him with his band and he did not disappoint. In fact, Scotty just rocked the mic for his entire set, which was higher energy than his usual fare and really showcased his songwriting. Our next act was half of the maybe four, in the shape of Mandolin and Chris Dunn. This act is made up of four talented songwriters that can all play on each other's music. This time, however, we retreated to two of their members, taking turns singing lead and swapping between guitar, bass, and hand drum. This dynamic duo showcased each other's music and was like getting a two-for-one special on awesome music. Finishing out the night was Aubrey Digital, supported by most of the band Casual Comfort. I'm hoping to get them on the channel soon as well. Aubrey's songwriting is clever and purposeful, with wordsmithing layered over music that drives the message home for each song. For this set, she played keyboard, but she can also rock a mean Telecaster guitar. Overall, Pride at Chiba Hut was a hit and a great time. It was so awesome to see so many different types of people come together to enjoy great music and a loving and supportive environment. It's a shame more shows aren't like this. We can always hope. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by Chiba Hut if you're in the neighborhood of Rainbow and Sahara or any of their locations. And I hope that you'll check out the artists that I mentioned here in this video. I'll have their social media handles listed in the description. Also hope that you'll consider subscribing, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And hey, while you're down there, go ahead and check out my social media link for Room 6. It has all sorts of ways you can support the channel and get yourself some cool merch. Uh, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up in the corner. If you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. And remember to be amazing, love everybody, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.